Market failure occurs when the market mechanism fails to allocate scarce resources efficiently such that society's welfare is not maximized. Only goods and services that are profitable to make will be produced. Goods and services which are desired like street lighting won't be provided as private firm do not make profits providing it. Harmful goods like cigarettes may be overconsumed. Producers may ignore environmental impacts and pollute the lakes and the air and the land surrounding their factories. Powerful producers charge high prices while producing below the social optimal quantity desired by society. A lack of information or inaccurate information causes consumers to over or under consume a good. Consuming different types of goods may give off benefit or cost to society. These goods are Merit goods, demerit goods and public goods. Merit goods These goods are under-consumed when left to the free market. They are deemed to be desirable as consuming them gives of positive externalities to society. Examples are education and healthcare. Positive externalities are spillover effects from the consumption of a merit good that will benefit the society. This positive benefit was not paid for and is consumed free by the society. Demerit goods are good that are over-consumed when left to the free market. They are deemed to be undesirable as consuming them gives off negative externalities. Examples of such goods are sugary drinks and cigarettes. Negative externalities are spillover effects from the consumption of a demerit good which will cost society as they are harmful. These cost was not compensated to society by the buyer nor seller. These are goods that when left to the free market will not be produced as it makes no profits for the producers. Public good are deemed to be highly desirable by society. Public goods have the following characteristics. They are Non-rivalry. The total number cannot be diminished as they are being consumed. Non-excludable. Consumers cannot be stopped from using them by charging them a fee. Because of non-rivalry and non-excludability, the good is therefore not produced by firms. Sometimes public goods are mistaken for private goods which are both rival and excludable, like chocolate bar and cell phones. The degree of market failure is greater in the case of public goods than merit or demerit foods while merit demerit goods can under or over produced public good are not produced in the free market resulting in the total loss of the use of resource. Geographical immobility this refers to labor's inability to do other kinds of task as their skill set is only usable in one place for example in farming in agriculture or ski instructors in a ski resort. Because of geographical immobility, labor is underutilized as it stops labor from being fully exploited and used as a factor of production. It is underallocated and this will give rise to market failure. Occupational immobility. This refers to labor's inability to do other kinds of task as their skill set is only usable in one market or industry for example in farming or as cheap labor in construction. Because of occupational immobility, labor is underutilized as it stops labor from being fully exploited and used as a factor of production. It is underallocated and this will give rise to market failure. Monopoly power allows a firm to control markets and it can hold back resources and not produce to the desired level of output that society desires. Society is not able to reach social optimal consumption and market failure takes place. 